Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap, Thursday, January 28th. Don't forget, four o'clock today, January 28th, four o'clock central, we'll be, we'll be doing our runner strategy class. So look forward to seeing you all there. Uh, today, plus $729 on the morning, so not too shabby. Uh, I think it could have been a lot better, but I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, two Mighty 90 trades, both winners, booked a $265 winner in AMD and a small $63 winner in DKNG. And then on our runners, speaking of runners, uh, Airbnb plus 410, Roku plus 76, and our only loser was a small one in Twitter for minus 85. So let's take a look at our board here and let's start with the Mighty 90s, starting with AMD. So I had a nice push down in AMD to start the day. Uh, got a nice volume spike here. We got long right in here and caught this beautiful bounce back up to yesterday's close. Uh, DKNG was our other uh, mighty 90 trade. DKNG over here. So, I mean, DKNG was a chop, 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 right at unchanged. Couldn't figure out if it wanted to go positive for the day or negative. It flushed lower, got this little volume spike. We got long and caught this bounce. Uh, it was really small on that trade. I thought there may be more room to the downside, so I, I went in super small. Never did come down, <clears throat> come down to let me add to the position, but uh, gave us a little winner. Uh, onto the runners, starting with Airbnb. So this was actually a couple different trades in Airbnb which by the way, we are trading the one day options today and on stocks like this that have a little bit wide bid ask spreads, I'm not a big fan of, but ended up working out well anyway, uh, Airbnb. So we, um, we had this big, um, well, let's see, we had this, uh, what happened here? We want, we went, we were long. Where we, we got long some, oh yeah. Oh yeah, okay, so had this initial push up, started to grind lower, had a little bit higher volume on this pullback, so we got long right here. Got out of half on this nice bounce. We were up a really nice profit, and I, was, I had an order just above here to close out, um, close out the rest, and it just never quite got there. Missed it just by a couple of ticks, and then this thing just rolled over. Flush, flush, flush. We ended up closing out the rest, kind of down in this area. Now, then we got a big, massive volume spike on this flush, so we were looking for a bounce, so we got back in and got short here and caught this nice winner uh, on the way down. So net, net plus 410 in Airbnb. Uh, Roku, now this, was, this is one that could have been a lot better. Uh, but this was one I just, I literally kind of towards the end of the morning, my focus wasn't there. I was getting a little impatient and that's that's what happened here so on this big volume spike we had a bounce we got short here in roku and rode this i ended up closing it out right here which obviously as you can see there's a lot more meat on that bone so left some chips on the table there but still booked a green trade there could have been a really nice one uh and then lastly twitter our friend twitter where is twitter um well let's just oh here we do here we go so in Twitter, this and, and so this is similar to Roku. This is one where I just kind of got impatient and ended up bailing early, but had this initial push up. Uh, this was the second volume bar, huge. And so we were looking for a pullback, got long right in here, got out of half right there, sat through all this chop, chop, chop. Uh, it was right about here where I decided, you know what, if this thing rolls over, I don't want to, I don't want this to fall apart and take a big loss. So I just cut out. And of course, right after that is when it, came back to life and ended up pushing higher. So a lot of times I'll wait for it to break a, a specific key level like this, but instead I use the pivot here. So, you know, there's, there's a good chance I could have caught, you know, at least a part of that, but uh, net net small loss, only 85 bucks, but uh, that is Twitter. So net net uh, 729 for the day. Again, don't forget 4 p.m. Central time, doing our runner strategy class. We've been teaching this. We've been trading it live for months, six months, I think, uh, just kind of tweaking and, and, and testing and, and tracking it. And now we're ready to share it with you all, so uh, all the details. So look forward to that, and uh, we'll see you then. Cheers.